Action News. The grades are in, and only one school in Mobile County got a perfect score on their school report card. Actually, there's only one school in our entire viewing area. They notched up 100% from the Alabama Department of Education. News 5's Haley Minogue spent the day at Eichold Mertz Elementary to see what their school does differently from the other schools. And Haley, how'd you spend your day at the Magnet School? Dev and I walked in as the morning announcement started and stayed, of course, through lunch. I learned so much talking to teachers, students, and the principal, and they even thought they, even though they scored a 100%, they said they know they aren't perfect. Singing and dancing are part of everyday curriculum at Eichold Mertz. Maybe one of the reasons they got another reason to sing and dance today. Like shock, surprise, because I didn't even think it was possible to make 100. The Eichold Mertz investigators, the only school in Mobile County to make a 100% on the Alabama Department of Education's report card. We don't walk around assuming that we're perfect. We know we're not. We try different things. We work really hard. Teachers and administrators all credited dedicated parents, hardworking students, and each other for the success. A big part of that success also credited to hands-on learning. We have some nice pets and they are crawfish. Rabbits, chickens, moldy bread to show how germs spread. All learning tools at the Magnet School. If you're excited about what you're teaching and the opportunities that you're providing your students, then they are going to be excited too and then they're going to learn. Students have to be engaged if they're going to learn. At the head of it all, a principal with 25 years in the school system, 11 years with this program. I'm just amazingly proud, amazingly. And grateful. Um, you know that this does not happen as a solo event. She says she knows her school isn't perfect despite the perfect score, and that will be the motivation for continued success. Yes, we're celebrating this week, but the celebration won't last long because now spring is coming, and it's time to do this again. Now, coming up tonight on News 5 at 6, I spent plenty of time last November in schools in Mobile County, and when the report cards came out, I noticed a correlation between good lunches and good grades. I'm breaking down the reasoning in just under an hour. Live in the studio, I'm Haley Minogue, News 5.